Today, I'm going to do a fresh install of Windows 11, next on Low Res DIY. Alright, before we get started, I want to throw a quick warning out there. This is for a fresh install on a new machine, or if you're taking an old machine and you don't care what's on that hard drive, and, and, and don't mind if it uh, gets deleted, then cool, come on in, let's do this. First thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to download the installation media for Windows 11. Now, I'll have the uh, link to this website in the description as well as any other instructions that, that might need to be in there. So once you get to this web page, the first choice is to download it and that's for updating the machine that you're on we don't want to do that we want to go down to the second one for the installation media we'll click on download and let it download and once it's done we'll go ahead and start it up agree to the licensing terms And let's double check language english united states and edition windows 11 that's what i want so we're going to click next you're going to get the option here of either uh flashing it to a usb drive which is what we're going to do or you can create an iso that you can put on a dvd or you can actually use that for virtual machines different things like that so just take your usb device and put it in your desktop It'll bring Windows Explorer up if you have something on the USB device like I do. Don't worry about it, it'll format it as it goes. So we'll just click on next. We'll choose our USB device and then we will click next again and let it download and install everything it needs to. All right, once it gets done downloading everything and creating the installation media, you can see it back here, boot the auto run.inf. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click finish. And then we're going to take the USB drive out of our desktop and put it into the system that we want to install Windows 11 on. So let's go ahead, hit the power button, and we're going to wait for the splash screen to come up. Once it does, we're going to want to get into the BIOS. So sometimes you'll have to hit F2, sometimes delete sometimes whatever you'll just have to look on your splash screen and see what it says f2 now that we're in the bios there's a couple things we need to check with windows 11 they're forcing you into using tpm tpm 2.0 to be specific they want you to also be a, in a secure boot state they want you to use UEFI, not the BIOS. Uh, UEFI is the new hotness, so that's what they're going to try to force you into it. So now the, let's go ahead and do that. This is an ASUS motherboard, so if you're using an ASRock, a Gigabit, or something like that, these things may be in different places and they may have a slightly different name so you're going to want to go ahead and research in your your motherboard manual or uh their website or something like that and find out where they are but for me we're going to start by going to advanced and then we are going to go to amd ft pm configuration and we're going to change this from discrete to firmware and it's going to warn us and it's going to let us know right there our hardware is tpm 2.0 so we're good on that we'll click ok and then we'll click back and then we're going to go into boot first thing we're going to check out is right here you can see secure boot so let's look at that and it says secure boot is enabled and os type well i'm going to use windows so i'm going to go ahead and switch over to windows We'll get back out of that. CSM, Compatibility Support Module. What this is, is when they were swapping over from BIOS over to the UEFI system, they there were problems back and forth with programs or hardware and things like that. So this is kind of like a hybrid of them. And for some reason, motherboards still default to this hybrid. Well, Windows is trying to, uh, or Microsoft, not Windows, Microsoft is trying to get us out of using that hybrid system. So I'm just going to click disable and it's going to give us a warning and everything. And I'm going to click okay. So I'm going to go ahead and 
get back out of that. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the screen and my little boot override device. I'm gonna use the uh, Samsung flash drive that we put windows on. You can see I've already used this hard drive and it's got some stuff on it. So, well, we'll deal with that later. Right now, we're just gonna click on this one and we're gonna click okay. And the system should reboot now and it sh should boot off of the uh, USB drive. All right, so let's start out with language, English, United States, sure, time zone, England, English, United States, yep, keyboard and input, US, works for me. So we're going to click install. I don't have a product key. I'm just kind of trying this out to see if I actually like it or not. So I'm going to click on, I don't have a product key. And I want to try out Windows 11 Pro. So I'm going to hit next. And if you get this screen, you're good. You got everything set up in the BIOS. All your hardware is compatible. So you can go ahead and skip through this next part uh, because it won't pertain to you. But if you're not getting this and uh, this screen and you're getting this screen, Follow along with the instructions and we'll get her taken care of. Oh, this PG PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install a version of Windows for blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, we can fix that. So let's go back to the screen here and we're going to hit Shift F10. It's going to bring up a command prompt and we want to type in Reg Edit. Click Enter. It's going to bring up our Reg Edit screen. We want to go and expand H key local machine. Then we want to expand system and we want to expand setup. Next we'll right click the setup folder, new key, and we're going to name it lab config. Click enter. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll right click on lab config, new, D word 32 bit value. We're going to name this guy bypass TPM check. Click enter. We're going to double click on it, change the value to one. Click OK. We're going to click right click on lab config again, new. D word 32 bit again. This time we're going to name it bypass secure boot check. Click enter. Go ahead, double click it again. Change that value to one. Click OK. And uh, then we're going to close this guy out and close this guy out. Don't worry about trying to go back and see the the uh, uppercase lowercase letters i'm going to have this in the description for you just to try to make life easier so let's click on install i don't have a product key windows 11 pro hey we made it past it that time so now that we now that we have everybody at the windows setup screen the license agreement we're going to go ahead and click uh, i accept and then we're going to hit next I'm going to do a custom install because that's what I want to do. And like I said, this hardware, this hard drive has been used before. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete all the partitions off of it. Now, remember my warning from the beginning of the video. If you don't want to do this, you might need to get it. You're going to have to get a different uh, hard drive or NVMB drive or SSD or whatever. All right, so now it's going to start installing the system on the machine. All you got to do is sit back and wait, and it uh, should reboot the computer, and then it'll have a few setup questions for you, and we should be in it. Man, that was that was super fast. That took maybe, I don't know, seven, eight minutes or so. And if you don't think that was fast, man, you would have never made it back in the days of uh, installing Windows 3.1, sitting there with eight or nine, three and a half inch floppy disks, flopping them in and out, in and out, different ones so you could get everything. It'd take you an hour and a half to do that freaking thing. Seven minutes. That's, that's pretty awesome. So... 
All right, our country of origin. I'm in the United States. You pick yours. Yes, we're going to use a US keyboard. No, I don't want to add an additional keyboard, so I'm going to skip this. All right, let's just call it low res. All right, so it's connected to the internet. We'll click next. We're going to set it up for personal use. I don't want to sign in with a Microsoft account because like I said, this is just for playing around, see if I'm even going to like it. So we're going to click on sign in options and I'm going to create an offline account. It's going to try to twist your arm and force you into it because you know, Microsoft, they want to be all in your business. Go ahead and skip for now. And it's going to want you to enter a name and we're just going to do low res again. Mm, won't let me do that, eh? All right, then how about Jason? Password. Confirm the password. Security questions. What was your first pet's name? Yep. Name of the city where you were born. Yep. And your childhood school nickname. Believe it or not, it really was. Yep. And I am going to uncheck all of this stuff here, giving them permission to, to check everything. Probably doesn't do any good, but hey, it's going to make me feel better. Checking for updates again. So I don't know if you noticed that or not, but before when we were setting it up, it went through a couple of uh, different reboots when it was checking for updates. So I, I think it was checking for uh, drivers for things like the network card and the uh, video card, things like that. Okay, here it is, Windows 11. All right, there you go. Windows 11 is installed. I'm going to go ahead and jump back on the system over here, and I'm going to go get the drivers for the motherboard, you know, for the sound card, the network uh, card, the uh, graphics card, whatever is out there that I can find. I'm probably going to throw Ryzen Master on it and see about overclocking a little bit, you know, fool around like that. Probably do like everybody else and find out, well, crap, this piece of hardware doesn't work right and this game doesn't work anymore and, you know, what the heck, Microsoft. But, hey, it's all fun in the end. So, if you like this type of content and it helped you out, do me a favor and karate chop that like button and roundhouse kick the subscribe button and we'll catch you later.